Hey everyone, in this video I want to do a quick overview of the DROC Constant Current Constant Voltage Boost Converter and why I think it is the best bang for your buck for the do-it-yourself battery hobbyist. It has an input voltage range of 8 to 60 volts and an output voltage range of 10 to 120 volts. The maximum current setting is listed at 15 amps. It has a major advantage over the cheaper boost converters in that you can select the amperage you want the converter to output. I came across this converter when looking for a way to charge my 24 volt lithium iron phosphate modules when I only had this power supply which can provide 14 volts at 20 amps maximum. Because this boost converter can output up to 120 volts, I was able to series connect all four of my modules, set the converter to 96 volts, and charge them all at the same time. The main feature that makes this perfect for lithium battery charging is that it has a constant current, constant voltage output. This means that the converter will output whatever current you set it to until the battery reaches the voltage set point and then the current begins to taper off as the battery approaches fully charged. This is the standard charge cycle of lithium batteries. To get that feature in a package that can be set to such a wide voltage and amperage range is amazing for $30. This unit does have other features that allow it to act as a benchtop or mobile power supply but this video is focusing only on the battery charging aspect of this converter. Setting this up for battery charging is very simple. In fact, it is the default setting of the boost converter. For this example, I am going to charge two of my 24 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries wired in series for a 48 volt nominal battery pack. After you wire up your input and your output terminals, you can go ahead and supply power to the board. Select the voltage you want to charge to, which in my case is about 56 volts. So let's go ahead and set that up right now. Ooh. Okay, 56.6 will work. Press set to switch to the current selection. I'm going to turn this down to about 1 amp. then press OK. That's it. It's now charging. There are three indicator LEDs to the right of the digital readout. The red LED indicates that there is an output coming out of the inverter and it will light up when you start a charge cycle. The yellow LED indicates that the converter is in constant current mode and this green LED at the top indicates that the converter is in constant voltage mode. These LEDs can be handy for a quick glance to check the status of your battery. During charging, the converter will show the real-time voltage and current. You can toggle between the voltage and current readouts by pressing the OK button. You can adjust either setting by simply pressing the up and down arrow to select a new parameter. The converter will automatically adjust to the new setting. To stop charging, press set. There is a small, very cheap fan on this board here to cool the aluminum heat sink. My board's only about two weeks old and the fan is already dying. It's kind of annoying, but not that surprising. It's an easy, easily replaceable component to the board. You just have to remove a screw here, a screw here, and then solder in the new wire connector here. Overall, I am very pleased with the performance and flexibility of this little converter. I plan to build an e-bike in the future, and this is perfect for charging whatever voltage battery I decide to use, whether it is 36 volts, 48 volts, or 52 volts. I might even end up with multiple e-bikes with different voltage batteries, and that's not an issue for this board. It can charge them all. I want to be sure to emphasize that this is not the highest quality charger available by any means, but the value is in the wide operating ranges available at this price point. Drock does make a buck converter with the same constant current, constant voltage features if you need to reduce voltage rather than increase it, and it, it's also $30. There will be a link in the description for both the boost and the buck converter. That's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Hit the like button if you found it informative. Definitely comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback. Subscribe if you enjoy the content, and I'll see you on the next one.